Well, the party also got started early at Lizzie McNeil's Irish Pub right on the Chicago River. A little leprechaun there. This is a live look from Streeterville. Of course, they welcome green-clad customers starting at 7 this morning. And as you can see, it's pretty hard to find a seat right now. Lots of green beer and Guinness being served up. CBS 2's Jackie Kostek has been having loads of fun all morning long at the Irish Heritage Center, and she rejoins us from there live right now. What's happening, Jackie? Well, Ryan, I've spent so long here at the Irish American Heritage Center that I find myself standing in position ready to do the Irish jig, or at least my best impression of the uh, traditional Irish dance. I'm here with Meg Buchanan, uh, who's the executive director of the center. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right, let's talk about, well, I had asked you about the, the events happening today, starting at 3 o'clock, but what is your favorite part about St. Patrick's Day celebrations? The crowds, the crowds, the people. That's really what this place was made for. Celebration and family, and this is the best time of year to experience it. This is a big building, and you really fill it up. We fill it up, absolutely. Yeah. Today, it'll only be on the first floor, but it's still, we hold a lot of people. 3,000 people, you said, right, on, on Saturday? Saturday, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I know. And about 1,500 expected today? At least. Oh, my Okay, well, it's going to be a great party again starting at 3 o'clock. A lot of bands and the Trinity Irish dancers will be here. I'm here with Mackenzie Holland, who is the performance manager for the Trinity Irish dancers. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right, so these girls, I mean, you talk about March Madness. Their schedule yes. today is absolute madness. Yes, yes, it is. We've got teams already at schools right now, and they'll be heading off to join them soon after. Why do Chicago families love getting their girls and boys involved with Irish dance? I mean, Chicago is known for its proud and large Irish community and it's such a family-friendly sport that, you know, extends past beyond the Irish. You don't have to be Irish to Irish dance, and everything that we do is rooted in traditional technique and music, but, you know, we try and mix it up as much as we can. It is so impressive when these girls uh, do their thing, and I've been practicing a little bit this morning, but I wanted to ask the younger girls, what is your favorite traditional Irish dance move? The jig. The jig. What's your favorite traditional Irish dance move? The jig. Oh, the jig. The jig. The jig. Okay, I've actually been practicing my jig all morning. So let's do it, girls, together really quick before I let you take it away. So first off, you're gonna point right, and then let's let's kick it into high gear here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm just going at yeah, we can just see and let her rip, ladies. Let her rip. <laughs> yes. Okay, I think I'm getting better. All right, I'm gonna let you guys take it away. These are the true professionals with the Trinity Irish dancers. All right, all of the fun happening across Chicago today. The Trinity Irish dancers are going to be just about everywhere you might be celebrating St. Patrick's Day. And if you don't have plans, you can come here to the Irish American Heritage Center. They're having a party that's starting at 3 o'clock, and I can guarantee it's going to go on for hours and hours. Ryan, it's been a fun morning. Back to you. All right, Jackie, you got that jig down pat. You're honorary Irish, that's for sure. Thank you. <laughs>